It's me, Jen, of course, and welcome to the very first episode of Favorites of 2016. I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I loved in January now that it's done and over with, so let's just get started. My first favorite is gonna be a lip product. It is Soap and Glory's Pillow Plump XXL. Technically, this is a lip enhancing product, but that's not the reason why I love it. If I'm gonna be totally honest, I don't really see a difference in my lip size. I'll show you a before and after, and maybe my lips are bigger by like a millimeter, but it is not very noticeable. So don't expect Kylie Jenner lips, it's not gonna happen. I love this because I love the shade. I feel like it just really goes with my skin tone, and I like the way the gloss looks. Next up, I have a skincare favorite. It is the Face Shop's Chia Seed Water 100 Moisturizer. And I started this tub in the beginning of December, and look at it. It's pretty much gone, so I think it's safe to say that I am a fan of it. It's more of a gel than a cream, so it's very lightweight and it absorbs very, very quickly. And I feel like it's just been maintaining the condition of my skin. But once I finish the tub, I'm like not committed to this moisturizer. I'm probably gonna venture out and try another face cream. I feel like I'm just on this never ending journey of finding the perfect face cream. I've been through so many tubs of different face creams. Uh, so this one goes on the good list, but like this need for me to find the, per the perfect face cream has not been fulfilled. Uh, so I do wanna give this like a nice pat on the back, but I I'm just not committed to it. Moving on to accessories, I am featuring a hat Duh. It is this cap from Huff, and I believe Jessie has the same cap as this, so now we are hat twins. I hope you don't mind. I really like this because of the corduroy material. I feel like it makes it a little bit different, and the logo is so cute. It's in a really dainty, beautiful cursive. The back is also cool because it is a leather strap as opposed to the normal like buckle strap that most snapbacks and caps have. I feel like this gives it more of a high-end feel. And I feel like caps like these are just having a huge moment right now in fashion because of the really like effortless, sporty look it gives. I really like the tomboy vibes and it's just a hat that I will continue to wear from now on to the summer. Another accessory that I've been loving are my new prescription glasses from General Eyewear. I purchased these in Camden in December, uh, and it took a while for it to ship because they were putting my prescription in everything. I really like wearing these on nights out even. I feel like they're a really great accessory and they're functional. I am starting to grow my prescription glasses collection because I feel like I'm pretty maxed out in the sunglass department, so I got a new thing to start collecting now. Moving on to a TV show that has consumed my life and Ben's life, uh, we are officially obsessed with The Walking Dead. And I know, I know, we're really late to the party, but it doesn't really matter. It just matters that we're here now. It's fine, I get it. I really love The Walking Dead now too. And we first started uh, with The Walking Dead on, I wanna say like January 23rd, and now we're on season five, and that's like, a lot of episodes. We literally just like powered through each season. And I think it took me a while to to start it because I, I'm just like a naturally terrified person. I get scared really easily. I can't take scenes that like where like people jump out at you. I finished season one, I got over it. Walkers don't even phase me now. I am fine. Like Ben and I even watch the walkers like extra closely to see like which extras are really bad. Cause there's always like that one extra that's like doesn't have like the walker walk right. I keep on telling Ben that I want to try out to be in The Walking Dead just as like a walker. That would be freaking sick. Like how cool would that be? For those who don't know the plot of The Walking Dead is just a drama that takes place in a zombie apocalypse. And at first, my favorite character was Glenn, like just because of like the Korean bond. And I still love, love Glenn and Maggie. Uh, but after I kept on watching, I would say like my top two favorite characters of the show are probably Daryl and Michonne. Like they're just so badass. And if I had to pick a group to get stuck with, it'd be them. Like I think I would live. Pretty sure I would live. But yeah, I'm almost I'm almost caught up. I know the new season comes out in February, and so I want to catch up to you guys for the new season. So I'm very excited, very eager. I am so happy to be a part of this. <laughs> My last favorite is a book favorite, and it's a little bit different from any of the other books that I've recommended. It is How to Be Happy or at Least Less Sad by Lee Crutchley. 
And I thought that this book would be a good thing to mention, especially with all the New Year's resolutions floating around. I know one of the top resolutions is to be happy and be happier with yourself and your life. And that's why I thought this book would be a good shout out. I feel like it's been really helpful to me because it's not like your normal self-help book that promises you all the answers. It doesn't give you like a 10 step program on how to be happy. It asks you questions and it's more interactive and you get to really tackle your own problems but in a creative way. And that's what I really like about it. And I don't really wanna show you what I've written in here because it's very personal, uh, but I can show you a page that I have not filled out yet. So this page says, Record any negative tweet or status update you think of here. And so this is where you vent and rant and say some really dark stuff. And then the next page says, use this space to think of positive alternatives. So it's spinning everything uh, negative that you just said. So it helps you see the black and the white. This book is definitely gonna make you feel uncomfortable, but I feel like Nothing ever happens from your comfort zone. You have to step out of it in order to get better. And I feel like the more you put into this book, the more effective it is. And I just thought that I would mention this because I know a lot of people are struggling. I know everyone has their own battles they're going through. And so I thought that this book would be something good and helpful for those who want to do something about their emotions. All right, guys, so those were my January favorites. And I got a lot of stuff brewing up for you guys in February. I am vlogging every day in February. Uh, they're going to be split up, though. It's not going to be like a vlog every single day. It's just going to be uh, like a compilation of clips that I will release probably on Sunday. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. We mean a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.